Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. Uh, now with a new hair color. Oh, also, I got my nails painted. So that's cool. Um, okay. Good evening. What was I doing? Let's check my stuff. Completed quests. Take it to Martin. Okay, cool. Ah. You're back. I told Geoffrey not to worry. I've been playing, guys. I've, I've been playing so much Civ Six recently, the amulet, did you? and and so I I almost expect him the, like anything that Sean Bean says to be accompanied by, by a little nine, quote. Such source. a thing is dangerous even to handle. Forgive me. You were right to bring it, but you'd better give it to me. Get it out of your inventory. I know some ways to protect myself from its evil power. So are you like a wizard or something? I don't know. Maybe. I know that I like Elder Scrolls shit on like what a wizard is is like all over the place and it's very you know obscure or whatever. But I will need time. But like tampering with dark secrets, even just reading them, can be very dangerous. I don't know. I thought that you were just a monk. I mean, I guess I should expect surprises from you on account of you being like about reports of spies the Emperor's and son. This evil book was written by Mayrun's Dagon himself. So this time the Holy Spirit did have a pen then, huh? Cameron. I believe Manka Cameron used it to create his paradise. It should give us the means to open a gate there ourselves. I will continue studying it. Cool. That's all I need. I hope to have at least part of the Mysterium Zarxis translated in a few days. Speak to Joffrey. I feel like they almost don't know what to do with me now. Like, oh, well, you got the thing. Well, I can't just read it right now. That would be stupid. Why don't you go do some busy work? A whole onion. Game of Thrones sucks now. Um, I'm sure that this is common knowledge. Good work, track. I hope Martin knows what he's doing with that evil book. But there was one I thing that I liked from... I actually never liked Game of Thrones. There are some some ideas here and there about it. Ah, yes. I hope you can help. But, like, the gate guards have I don't actually like Game of Thrones that much. For the past several nights. Um, Even when it was all right, there was only, like, while my men maybe a third to a fourth of the actual content in Game of Thrones that I was like, yes, this is good and I enjoy. I will find them. Talk to Stefan. Um... He can tell you where he has seen them. But there's Captain one thing that Bird sticks with me. May also be able to help. Like, there's this... I forget the, the exact context of it, but... Keep an eye out for strangers. As, you know, I'm sure even the, the, the faintest of laymen will know. Find out what they know and what they're planning. Like... Alright, well, bye. I'm counting on you to eliminate those spies. Like, at least a good half of Game of Thrones is a bunch of old men arguing about, like, nothing. And they're, like, arguing about something. I don't even remember what it is. But the thing that they end up saying is, if you have half of a rotten onion, you don't have half of a rotten onion. You have a rotten onion. Okay. Why is this trying to take me back there? Okay. Um, I think it's probably supposed to be some justification of like, you know what, we should kill everyone, because, you know, they're all the way rotten, and they don't deserve to live. Um. Whoa, what are you? Oh. You mentioned Mythic Dawn agents? Uh, well, that's cool. You idiots didn't find this thing. Do you seek its conjured weapon and armor?
Oh, so it gave me like a little... Well, I imagine a bound dagger, but a, a, a Daedric dagger. Uh, anyway, so they're like, yeah, you can't have a rotten onion. Or half a rotten onion. You just have a whole rotten onion. Um, and it cuts to uh, uh, Samwise Tarly, or whatever his name is. And he's like eating a whole onion like an apple, because like, fuck, they, they don't have that much food and everyone smells anyway. Um... But how are you? Go ahead. Not on my watch. Oh, that's funny. Bye. That's like an actual use of the phrase "not on my watch," like used correctly. Most people just use it like as a saying. But that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something about being in an RPG and jumping on the houses. You know, like jumping on the houses in, in Warcraft. Um, anyway, Samwise, or is his name Samwell? I know that he's like, look, it's practically a thing of like, hey, what if there was just a guy whose name was Sam in this fantasy world? What if he was also there? That'd be cool. Like Samwise and Samwell, but anyway. He, he, he's just going through the larder and eating food because, you know, he's a fat fuck. And he finds a rotten onion and he just takes out his little knife because, you know, whatever. And he just cuts the rotten half off and throws it away. And then, like... Damn, he had a watermelon in here? Shoot. Um... Let's get rid of that watermelon. Rut row. I'll leave that one here for now. I can't, I can't stop picking things up. Especially if they're, like, crafting ingredients. Alright. Let's see if we can't go sell some things, just to hock it and get out of my fucking inventory. We have to go back there anyway. So those things will be safe. Anyway, yeah, that's the only thing from Game of Thrones that stuck with me. Also, the part in one of the books where Daenerys is, like, having horrible dysentery and she just can't stop shitting. Anytime now. Because, like, God, what? Why write that? I know, like, oh, you know, magical realism, it's low fantasy, uh, you know, like, oh, man, the dysentery. Is it really that interesting to read? Good evening. Like, there are parts of actual history that are less boring than Game of Thrones. Uh, see, I'm really happy, actually, that Game of Thrones ended so poorly, because I didn't like Game of Thrones when it was the hot, the new hotness. But I couldn't, like, talk shit on it, because... It's you. Jesus ah. Christ! What can I do? Not that I can... Take care. Um... What's your story? What the hell was I Welcome talking about? Welcome to Bruma, stranger. Ah, let's do business. Oh, cool. Alright, I'm not really gonna need to burden That's anyone, I don't think. An excellent bargain. I'll keep that just in case. That's a fair. All right, these are definitely uh, taking up some space. I can't make that deal. Oh, he's got fifty gold. Well, let's see if there's anything that I can pull out of him. Oh, I could just start getting all of these.
Because I, I do want to grind alchemy, and that does mean that I will need a lot of supplies. I would Why isn't your gold going up? Oh, but it's not going down either. You're trying to drive me out of business. I can't afford to do that. You're trying to drive me out of business. So, <laughs> am I just not supposed to know how much you have? No deal. Can I give you three? That's a good deal. Well, that seems a anyway, yeah. Um, like, I'm a, I understand and, and identify with the people who are like, wow, I'm sad that, um, a fine, a fine trend. I'm sad that Game of Thrones uh, ended so poorly, but like, as someone who's a little against Game of Thrones, for a lot of reasons in a lot of ways, more I'm like... Content with its with its bad ending, because I'm like, okay, now that the fucking honeymoon is over and and people are like, wow, Game of Thrones really shit the bed. They're willing to hear uh like other negative things about it that I don't know if they ordinarily would have. And that's good for me because it means that now I can complain about the things agree. that are like wrong with Game of Thrones. Say, hey, there's some stuff that is like dog shit in that show. I almost said anime. Uh, God damn. That's why. That's why I like stammered there. I was like that anime, you Game of Thrones. Drive. Tell your goodbye. Well, you didn't have a very satisfactory answer to the uh, strangers in town, so. Maybe this basement key goes to your house. Isn't Alga a good storyteller? Snara the cook. The best bard I've ever met. Of course, being a bard is almost as bad as being a pilgrim. There's no future in it. What? Not that I can think of. Really? Bye. Hmm. Poor Arnora. I can't imagine that I would find a basement upstairs. Oops. Has stolen some gold from her and left her penniless. Now he's in jail and she's dead. Okay. What's my way to now? A lot better. In fact. Nova Roma. Nord winds. I don't know if you could do that in the real world. Imagine calling a building white guy wins. Here's where I hear about some British, like, chain restaurant. Somebody in the comments, uh, uh, obliges to inform me. Yeah, I feel like this is almost a quest to just get me out of the... Brach Callus. Not that I can... Okay. Knowledge is the key to success in any... In Goodbye. I just want to peek. Damn, you got some good stuff in here. Emetic means that uh, it'll make you puke.
Y'all, I found a spider on me the other, like, I was gonna say other day, but like, it was like a minute ago. That's it? That's your amazing secret treasure that you locked away? Like a $10 shield? See, now that's what I was expecting. My what now? My killing has been observed by forces unknown. Huh. Well, that's... Hmm. Oh, he actually has a bunch of clothes in his dress. So that's funny. Been observed by forces unknown. What does that mean? Oh, I can't sell these because they're still marked as stolen. That's unfortunate. Put another torch on. Stop! Then. Okay, so is forces unknown just... I guess I won't steal everything else out of your house if you're going to still be alive. Is Forces Unknown just the guards? They'll just know? If so, how? How would they just know? Anytime now. Is it because I wasn't sneaking? Oh yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to get involved with a thieving guild of some variety. Biography of Berenzia. Right, doy. That is a unappetizing looking piece of cheese. To be honest with you. No. All right, I think I got them all. Uh, that's such a fucking Elder Scrolls thing of like, oh, whoops, I accidentally pulled the bowl out from underneath all of these strawberries. And then they spilled all over the floor. You know, like, like what happens when you take the bowl out from under the strawberries. Just locking away your leather gauntlets, huh? Can I read this parchment? <laughs> I, I guess I don't know what I expected. Oh, I'm trespassing. But this guy's a criminal. Oh, found the secret carrot. It's going to be the latch key in this whole thing. Um, hmm. Just a million blackberries. <gasps> Crab meat, finally. Ooh, your stained fingers attest to your diligence in mixing potions and learning their secrets. You're a journeyman of alchemy. All potion ingredients have four effects. You can identify the first three. Awesome, finally. A use for crab meat. They said it couldn't be done. They called me mad. And that also helps me figure out all these new things to do. So damage health. Cure paralysis. 
strawberries can damage your health. To be honest, I like I love having a whole bunch of potions and poisons on myself. Um maybe I can do something with all this rat meat. Detect life, damage magic, damage fatigue. Detect life can't be like that useful, right? I can't foresee it being that useful, at least. Maybe I'll sip one just to see. Detect life. Here we go. Okay, I'm detecting myself. Or no, that's the potion effect. Hmm. Well, that was uh, lucrative and interesting. Definitely worth my time. Evening. Oh, I can see you. Crackling with your sexual energies. Um, should help be Mass Effect? Then again, like, I've made reference to how long certain LPs are, like, Fetid Jolfnild. I'm only asking for... I have a coin, beggar. Blessings of RK upon ye. The beggar's food bag. Sir? Yeah. Good day. Hmm. How can I help you? I guess the fact that it's uh, night is probably impacting my ability to do proper work. Possibly. Then again, if people are at, uh, if people are asleep, then that means that they'll be at their house when I break in. And if they're criminals, then that's good for me. What do you? Not on my. Capt the captain. Goodbye. That's like a church, right? All right. Well. Hmm. How goes it? Castle Bruma. Oh, maybe it's in here and I just haven't been in here. That might make sense. Sorry, it's the first video that I've recorded of today and what's more in a little bit. Um... Still going this way? Hmm. Oh yeah, I was going to comment on this. Oh, this isn't a exit door. Well, okay, cool. Yes. I was going to comment on how, like, you can organically just find the other... Like, this is something that uh, 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 a Skyrim would do sometimes, but, like... Sometimes they're like, oh, go look for this guy. And what they mean is go through this linear dungeon. Ooh, more katanas. And a shield. Oh, yeah. Didn't I steal a shield? No, I didn't. Not anymore. The shield was unstolen. I found a spider on me earlier and, like, I keep getting random pains and uh, it's freaking me out, to be honest. Oh my god, look at all these alchemies. Come on, it's a very easy... Soul gems and emeralds, nice. 
do those count as stealing? Because sometimes it's a thing of, damn, they do. Sometimes it's a thing of like, oh, well, we locked this up anyway, so you shouldn't even be able to look at it. So it doesn't count as stealing because you're not even supposed to be in there anyway. And, like, it's a thing where, like, the crime is picking the lock. But if no one sees you pick the lock, then... Well, then no one sees you commit that crime. And they don't know that you committed that crime. So can we just keep piling these on? Is it going to do, like, more? Mmm, bread and beef. Sorry, I just, I, I love mixing potions. I can't stop doing it. It's my favorite thing. Anyway, so yeah, I like the, um... Jeez. Fall of the Snow Prince. Oh, yeah, yeah. These are the... That's the Igr uh, Isgrimoire stuff from Insulation. And a Brandy. Nice. But they do count as stolen, unfortunately. Oh, wait. Maybe I'll close these. No one will ever know. That one even has stuff in it. I'm feeling like there's a lot more, like, clean stuff in here, you know? Silver longsword. Compared to what I'm holding, 120, 26... 125, 28, 6. This is the weight. So this is... What I'm holding is better for me. Don't worry. I figure that I'm over-encumbered. 25, 1, 1. 95, 21, 3. Oh, those are pants. What about these things? They are better. But this is very heavy. Maybe I'll drop the bow. I can probably get another bow, right? Oh, God. All right, sorry. Just doing some stuff there. I feel like I should get something done this episode, you know? What's this? Of, what do you... Not on my watch. Mm. Goodbye. Okay. And that's just down there? Okay, cool. Um. So... Yeah, I really do enjoy how, like, I just organically happen to find those guys. Although, I will say, it makes them look like idiots. Because they couldn't find those guys who were just, you know, how do you do a little bit down the road. Hi. Bird. What can I do? Spies. Except for Jurel coming back from a trip down south, things are pretty quiet. Not much travel right now with the Oblivion Crisis. 
I've told my men to keep a sharp eye out, but I've had no reports of any strangers in town. What about you? Turned up anything suspicious? It's funny you ask. God's blood. So she was the spy? <laughs> Seems there's no I like one God's can blood. trust these days. I guess um, they probably Tom mean Lorcan. I'm going to for sure, if you, you prefer. To house. And uh, Lorcan's blood is man. ebony, isn't it? We won't interfere. Okay, cool. I trust that you... They say that... I make sure... Okay, cool. Um, well, I feel like kind of a ninny because I, I screwed around almost all episode and didn't actually get that much done. But, uh, hey, we're getting back in. I've got a new hair color. Uh, I actually got a new shirt. Um, and hey, I'm recording Oblivion again. Um, but yeah, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for coming. Have a good day. See ya.